I, I do think um, it's tricky. Um, I'm sure this is the case all over, but here in the States, it feels like you can't say anything without it becoming sort of political, um, which is another thing altogether to talk about. But um, I do think that restaurants, in, in this kind of crazy world we live in, I do think corporations in many ways have become sort of the, um, the voices of reason. Um, and I do think there's a role for taking a stance. Um, and, you know, uh, here we've seen that very much in Black Lives Matter this year. We've seen brands take a, a stance when it comes to social justice. And I, I think that is the responsible thing to do. And I do think with the pandemic, there is, uh, there, it's a responsible thing to do. Um, what's interesting is with the QSR industry, especially for very large chains, um, you have so many people to, who are being a part of your voice that it's really important you have a consistent message that you make sure every single person within your company understands. I've, I've been in chain restaurants in this season where I saw people behind the counter without a mask. I didn't, you know, I, I, I could process that that is the individual employee or the individual restaurant's fault, but you can't help but think that that chain, that corporate team, which I'm getting press releases and marketing material saying we're being responsible, but I'm not seeing it. So it's, it's, it's really tricky because you, you have to ensure that everybody within your system is going to be playing by the same set of rules. And so if you do take a stance and make it vocal, you have got to make sure everybody's on board um, because it's easy to poke holes in that. Your consumers are not going to draw a straight line to, you know, to, to that individual person or that restaurant. They're going to draw the line straight up to the whole company. So um, I, I do think there, there are responsibilities that companies should take. Um, that being said, do you need to go so far, you know, as to say really extreme things? Not necessarily. It depends on your brand. You know, here in the U.S., you have a brand like Ben and Jerry's that w is willing to say anything they want because people get it. That's what they're they stand for. You have other brands that you know are like we're not going to touch it, and that's and that's understandable. People expect it, so make sure it fits within your brand and make sure that everybody on your in your system is all playing by that same set of rules. So I, I agree completely with uh, Sam's point as well. Uh, this is where actually it's very important and very critical to address the trust strategy. But then how you're going to display that and how you're going to communicate it and in terms of how it fits within your brand itself. At the end of the day, it has to be genuine, right? So it comes from the brand essence and that's different. But it has to be genuine at the, uh, at the end of the day and consumer would find, would find a benefit for him. So what's in it for the consumer at the end of the day? Right, so you're trying to maintain this balance between what you want to do and then the consumer as well, and just not uh, uh, play around maybe the creative uh, piece of it or uh, just uh, something that the consumer will not believe in. Just to build on what um, you know, Sam and Emma have been saying, it's um, brands can play at two levels in the industry at this point. One is, of course, towards the consumer or the person who's eating out. Or, or the groups who are eating out. And second, of course, is to the operators and uh, who have really taken all the stress about um, managing the financial side of things as uh, you know, the restaurants are being hit. So, um, you know, our Unilever brand is, is uh, essence is um, support, inspire progress. So we would want to support uh, our business partners, you know, inspire them and help them progress. I think we have put that brand agenda in our B2B relationships, I think this is something that um, we consider quite important. It's important for businesses like Unilever to support smaller businesses during this time, um, particularly during this time, um, because that's really going to make the difference between somebody going out of business and somebody not going out of business. Yeah. I think for the front of house, uh, I think Sam made a great point on one of our brands, Ben and Jerry. Uh, if, you've yeah. got if you've got the credentials, yes, this is the moment to use it. 